Warm up the fat lady! Warm up the fat lady! The bullets are gonna win! The Soviet news agency tasked the Chernobyl accident is the first for the Soviet Union. Nancy Reagan was the first to go to the flag draped casket, rubbing and gently patting it. A gunman goes on a rampage at Virginia Tech. <laughs> When we heard the first news of an airplane crashing into the World Trade Center, I, as well as everybody else, said, oh, somebody must have flown into one of the buildings with a sightseeing plane. Pretty dramatic uh, picture we're looking at right now. Fire in uh, one of the World Trade Center towers in uh, New York City. We don't know the cause of this fire or exactly uh, where When everybody from, saw the second jet, then we realized the world had changed. Quickly after that, I arrived on the hill. And it was absolute pandemonium. The, here. the Capitol is shut down. I can never remember a scene like this in my career and my life in Washington. Information was a little tough to come by, but I felt that what people needed that day was a little bit of reassurance. Neil Augenstein, you're live on the air. Tell us what you see at the Pentagon. Okay, I'm standing right on uh, what is this, 395, right by the Boundary Channel Drive exit, looking across to the Pentagon, seeing heavy, heavy smoke. Uh, covering the Pentagon. As you can hear, there are, uh, there are uh, emergency uh, equipment passing by from, uh, from all directions. Uh, the horror of an attack on the United States and the fact that we were probably in the target zone and what my wife must be going back about me at home, worried about me. And I found myself saying, wait a minute, this event is still unfolding. The story hasn't been finished yet. And how we say it, and the words we use to describe it do have an effect on how people are going to deal with it and how the story will play out. I just think the sense of fear and the bewilderment, uh, you, can, you can feel it in the air down here, and anger too. I, I, think, I think people, if you, you stop and think about it, they are angry that this has happened today. I felt I was in the safest place in the world with all these police, with all this protection. It didn't occur to me that maybe one of these planes might want to attack the Capitol. I didn't think of that. That's what happens as a reporter, and that's one of the, the blissful, blessful things, if that's a word, is when you're so active in your story, you don't think about all the danger. It doesn't bother you. You think about it later. Here at WTOP, we have a wonderful opportunity to serve our community,